Greetings, mobile groupies. I'm Jen Quinlan, and I'm amazed by everything developers can do with beacons. I'll tell you why in this week's Mobile Minute. Before we talk about what beacons can do, let's discuss how they work. Now there's a few manufacturers that make beacons ranging from Roximity, Estimo, and Gimbal to name a few. And here's what they look like. They're tiny devices that use Bluetooth low energy in order to transmit signals to your phone. Now unlike NFC, beacons are entirely permissions based and you have to opt in to receive the signal. And signals can transmit up to 100 feet. Beacons are set to revolutionize shopping. From helping you knock out your grocery lists, to feeding you coupons and product information and customer reviews, Beacons are going to transform the brick and mortar experience. In museums, patrons could be pushed videos and other resources as they pass each exhibit in order to focus even the shortest of attention spans. On the playground and beyond, beacons are bringing tracking and scavenger hunts into the 21st century. Even at CES this year, they had a beacon-based scavenger hunt that took event goers to less trafficked areas. Speaking of traffic, beacons even make public transit more appealing. With sensor-equipped buses and to-the-minute notifications, you'll never wonder again if your chariot is running late. It would take a mobile month to mention all the Beacon's uses, so I'll leave it at that. But stay tuned for more Beacon Insights. And that's your Mobile Minute.